Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Kalia Michaela. Also known as Kalia Michaela on all social media platforms. You can go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter to stay connected and join the click. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a venting sesh. So I'm going to be doing my lashes and then my lash clusters and then I'm going to be like just venting. I got like topics to talk about on my iPad and I'm going to be venting. So I was going to record on my camera, but it's currently for the night and I have to do this video now. Like it's literally, literally, literally you can't even see for real because of like, you know, the camera stuff. But it's literally for the night. So I'm recording off my phone. I kind of like the quality right now better on my phone. You know, like when iPhone quality just giving batteries, like, I don't know. But I still love the camera too. So these are the lash clusters that I got. My friend Nyla gave me these. She got them off Amazon. I'm gonna ask her to just send me the link so I could put it in the description box for now. I'm pretty sure she watching this video right now too, so yeah, period. But yeah, so I think it's 11, 11 up until 16. So the last like look that I'm going for is like a cat eye look. And I'm not like everybody else. I do not use the lash glue that come in this at all because that stuff be ripping your lashes out. It literally rip your lashes out. I like using lash glue better or hair glue. It's kind of the same, but so I got these tweezers too. And then, yeah, we finna start basically. So I don't want to make the video too long, but okay, I'm using hair glue. Okay, so the first topic that we're gonna talk about is gonna be mental health. Well, specifically my mental health. Like that's what the video is about. Like me venting about like what I got going on. So, I had a very, very terrible year. Like, this year has been really bad. I put like some of the glue on like this paper towel so I could dip it. But this year has been very horrible for me. It's just like so many things have just been happening. Like, yeah, I'm gonna use this mirror. Should I use like the bigger side? Yeah, I'm gonna use the bigger side. Shit, shit, shit. But yeah, like it's just I just realized I used the wrong lash. I'm messing up this video already. That's the twelve. If I'm starting from right here, I'ma use the longer ones and then as I go in the inside I use the smaller ones. I think I'm gonna go up to like thirteen. Now I'm just do twelve. I'm gonna just do 12, 11 and 12, that's what I'm gonna do. So, basically what happened over the summer is I lost my dog and it was like really hard, really hard. Cause like, if you know, if you know me, you know I love my dog. Like, that's all I used to talk about. That's all I used to worry about. Like, I'll be outside with my friends and I will be like, I can't wait to get home to my dog. <laughs> like, for real. And basically somebody murdered him. Like, I had came outside. Well, it's like a long story, but basically me and my family found him deceased outside. And somebody clearly had did it. They did it on purpose. And yeah. So yeah, my mental health is like pretty, I'm trying to focus on this, try to focus on that, but it's also like me focusing on what I have to focus on is also a distraction for what, from what I'm actually going through. Like people probably think like, oh, she got over it quick and everything, but that's not the case. Like losing somebody is very hard and it's not, I know he's like a dog, but like, at the end of the day, that's like losing something closest to me. Like when I tell you, like my dog was the closest thing that I've had to me. 
like he's closer he, my dog was closer to me than my own brothers like my dog slept with me i was with my dog every day i fed the dog like he was my child i kissed the dog like he was my child like it's just like very very hard it's like me losing my child like for real me losing my child but you know things happen for I'm not gonna say things happen for a reason because that should never happen to my dog. Like, I never thought that I would lose my dog this year. Like, me actually losing somebody, me, that's crazy. Like, I've lost like my uncle as well this year. My great uncle, my grandma's brother. That was also hard. But you know, my dog hit the spot. Like, that really did it for me and like this i have a necklace has like some of his ashes inside of it so it's like really special to me but yeah so to sum it all up my mental health is kind of all over the place but i'm using things around me to distract it or i, I ain't gonna lie like i would like kind of use sleep as well if that makes sense like i would just sleep sleep and sleep but yeah so moving on from that topic um well that kind of like sums up the whole video as a whole it's still like different topics to talk about but like my mental health is like one of them i'm not like at it's like i'm at a numb type of feeling if that makes sense like i'm i'm not at a breaking point i'm not at like you know this that i'm just numb like and then like before that it was just like little things that happened like just little things but like that did it for me this summer like it took my whole summer experience away and like also things that i'm going through at home like that really did it as well look at this y'all can see it Shit. when you use a hair glue that happens but yeah so another topic okay senior year this keep happening what do i do okay senior year is a topic senior year it feels like it feels surreal it feels like i'm really about to be an adult and like another thing like when me lose my dog and then me becoming a senior it's like my dog was my supportive system so to not have him is like kind of hard and i'm the type of person that always get my work done and everything and this year is just not the case like i just don't be wanting to do anything anymore for real i just want to move on from from like high school but i'm also scared to grow up if that makes sense but like being in high school kind of reminds me of being a child i mean let me just scratch all that out Senior year is different. It's different. Senior year is definitely different. I only have two classes right now. Let's hope it stays like that because I was in Urban Alliance, right? And I got terminated because I didn't complete most of the assignments from when I was out of town or whatever. And they said, no, 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 we're not having this. So you have to go. You should have did them assignments. So I didn't do the assignments. And then they terminated my ass. Let me stop. Because that's not funny. I was crying. Like, for real. I was crying. But senior year, I like senior year. But it was also, like, for the past couple of weeks, it was really stressful because we had to apply for all of these colleges and get that personal statement done. That personal statement was fucking me, bro. And it still is because it's not right. My teacher said that I should change it because my personal statement, it seems like every paragraph is like an introduction. So she wanted me to change that or whatever. So once I get to the middle, I'm gonna do uh, the 11s. I'm gonna do the 11s. And then I don't know if I'm gonna stack them. I don't think I'm gonna stack them because I'm gonna do like a natural look. But yeah. Also, I wanna start doing like individual lashes if I didn't already say that. Like these are clusters, but I wanna start doing individual lashes. Oh my 
Okay, how do I feel about college? I feel like I'm the type of I'm the type of kid that's been ready to go to college for forever because of what my family had going on or whatever. But like as I got older, I started to get more scared because I still feel like a child. Like I don't, I feel mature, very mature. But I still feel like a child. Like I know I'm ready. Me on my own. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. I just hope that I go to a college that I want to go to. Or that I don't mind going to. So I'm going to start doing the 11s. Also, I'm not a professional yet at doing lashes, but I be doing my friend Nyla's lashes, so yeah. Then I do mine. I didn't want them to be like too, you know, anyways. I want them to be like something, not too much. But yeah, like with college, I definitely feel like that is going to be an experience. And I, like, I used to want to move out of Chicago, but when I started like kind of traveling, I realized like Chicago is like the kind of the best place to live in, not gonna lie. Even though like the violence and everything, like it's like living situation wise, it looks the best. It feels the best. It feels like home. But that's probably because I'm from Chicago. But like still. But yeah. So I don't know. Y'all. So the next topic I got is prom. Prom, prom, prom. I swear I cannot wait for prom. I can't wait for prom. That's going to be something. But I just hope that I like my dress. I hope that I like my dress. Cause I'm getting it. I just dropped the lash. I'm getting my prom dress made from scratch how I would want it to to be. But we gonna see how that go. Because yeah. Now, a prom date, do I know who I'm going Y'all, so I had no choice but to switch my camera, even though it's finna freaking die. So, I basically did like the lash, last, last, wait, last lash on this side of my freaking eyeball. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be questioning myself for real. But basically what I, <sighs> bro, what do I be doing? Oh God. I really question myself like what the fuck anyways what i was saying was do i know who i'm going to run with most likely because i'm talking to somebody right now and it seems very serious if it's not serious then i don't know what the fuck it would be because that's all it's gonna fuck me. but uh, so i'm most likely gonna go on prom with him unless we stop talking but at this point i don't see us stop talking but Anything could happen, but if I don't go with him, then I'm gonna go by myself, or I'm not gonna go at all, cause I don't got time to be playing with people, for real. But uh, this is how the lash look. This is how much it's gonna be for right now. But the last topic that I got is relationships. I just wanted to show y'all all of the topics I have put, so y'all won't think I'm fronting. But yeah. So relationships, I feel like relationships, it, I feel like relationships is something that, yeah, you should want to be in. Because like, who don't love love? Like, you know, even though I, I did not used to be one of them people, I used to be one of them um, DTA type of girls. But you know, like the person I'm talking to right now, it's looking like relationship goals. That's what it's looking like. That's my These curls needs to be detangled. But I'm gonna do this lash off camera because 
I don't want my camera to die before I do get to do my outro. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that was really all of the topics for right now. If y'all want me to go more in depth on these topics, let me know if I should do another video of me doing something else while I do these topics. And yeah. Y'all, so I finished doing the other lash. This is how it looked. It's like a gap right there, but that's because the lash is like kind of thin. But I really don't feel like dealing with it. But yeah, so that was like a short little vent sesh. And I low-key like, like venting to the camera. So I'm going to make sure that I do that more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And stay tuned for more for sure because the content is coming in. And that's all period. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.